and we gave something here in this meeting last night. Yeah. And we offer any time that our doors are open where we preach. All right. If you have questions in your mind about the things that we preach, right. the doctrine that we teach, the privilege is yours to ask questions. Right. Isaiah 1 and 18, the book says, Come now and let us reason together, saith God. Right. Though your sins be as scarlet, I will make them white as snow. Right. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Sister Carolyn told us last night, she's not a preacher. She said, I'm not a preacher. And I said, well, then, Sister Carolyn, bring your preacher. Do you have one? She says, I have one. I said, well, invite him to come over tomorrow night. And let's see if we can reason this thing together. Amos, the prophet of God, informed us a long time ago that two cannot walk together but except they be agreed. And when it comes to religious matters, I believe the Bible is the only book that we should depend on to bring us together on what God has said, the promises that God has given, and the plan that he has extended that all might obey and become the sons and daughters of God. And that's what we're going to talk about. Now, this is not a form of debate. No proposition has been signed, but I'm going to tell you what we're going to be talking about. The theme of this meeting is the church that Jesus built. Matthew 16 and 18, after the question, uh, was asked by Jesus, who do men say that I the son of man am? The disciples began to answer him by telling him the different answers that different people had concerning who he was. Some said one thing, some said another thing, and others not knowing which one just said he's one of them. But that didn't satisfy Jesus because that wasn't the answer to who he was. So he turned to his disciples after they told him who men thought he was. The question was, now, who do you say that I, the son of man, am? The Bible said it was Peter who answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah. Flesh and blood hath not revealed this. Your answer didn't come from your daddy. Your answer didn't come from flesh and blood. But my father gave you the words to say. And I also say unto you, any time anyone confesses Jesus, Jesus will confess him. Didn't he say so? Thou shalt confess me before men, I'll confess you before my Father which is in heaven. So I say unto you, thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 